Hello everyone, Exedra here bringing you episode 24 of Compact Claustrophobia, a mod pack by your hamster. So, first thing first, check the diamond situation. We're going to need ugh, we're going to need to do some um, some automation today. So the goal of the episode today is really trying to get the calcium sulfate going because we need to make those superconducting electromagnet and we also need to set up a lot more automation. So let's do this, one TNT, we're going to need some hop. Let's hope that we're lucky for once. Hop graphite and a button, and we're going to go set that up. You know what? Let's go and make a big explosion right here. And hopefully, please give me more than 10. We need so much automation stuff. Let's go. As they say, let's get lucky, baby. Ah, oh, 11. Eh. Not so bad, not so great either. But, so the goal, the reason for this is we're going to need some automation. So what are my crafters? I have four crafters here. Do I have some external storage? Nope. Okay, so let's get some external storage. External storage. Uh, this, how many, oh, none. Okay, so just that shouldn't be too long. We're going to need, let's make, Four, yeah, that's expensive. Let's hopefully, uh, some chest, some chest right here. Perfect, throw that back in. So let's get, what am I missing? Ah, oh. iron something, this I need. Start, great. And I'm out of iron. I'm gonna have to send a big batch of iron also. Let's just, 1024, start, go, great. Okay, so now we should be able, oh, we should be able to craft the things that we need. So one, two, three, four. Um, I'm going to want some importer. Do I have any importer? Let me search here, importer. Yes, I have three. Do I have some exporter? Exporter, yes, I have one. Let's make three more. Um, I'm not sure that I need three more, but uh, not a bad thing. I'm just going to make it and, and just make sure that I'm ready for everything I need to set up. So I'm going to need some construction core. One, two, three, like so. And that should make all... Ah, uh, I'm out of the gold nugget. So binders. Nope. I'm out of binders too. Start. Perfect. Now I'm going to need some improved processor. Two. I'm just waiting for the... Uh, Binders one. I'm waiting for the next one to appear before I click so that this always fill Like this And this This is a bit slow man. I thought that with the more crafting CPU. Oh, and I'm out of Silicon I think whatever so let's just throw that in right there and let's get started. Okay, so calcium sulfate Oh, uh, no, sorry first. I want to show you the whole setup that I did so if you guys remember, I had the charcoal right here and the charcoal was going through and I also did some research. I had a problem with my export and the reason I had a problem with my external storage, these are set to blacklist instead of whitelist. So I need to set whitelist here. I need to set whitelist here. And I also made the same mistake with this right here. I need to whitelist here. I don't know if it's going, no, it's not going to transfer. So quickly, let me get my wood on, grab all of the wood, like so, and put it all here. Perfect, sorry. So this is all automated. The big change that I did is right here, I split the graphite dust in two because I need some graphite dust for the plate crafting. And here I have the coal, and then I have all of these fully upgraded with three speed upgrade and it's still like it's still not keeping up I might need to double this later then everything is sent to a sequential fabricator putting all the coal coke into a coal block once I get a coal block it gets imported here you can hear it working right now so it's crushing one putting it in the chest here bringing the coke dust here coke dust becomes uh, coke dust becomes hop graphite dust I think and then it gets imported back into our system we also added the tree farm so if I come here for the tree farms oh 
I didn't click the right thing. I just want to finish showing you the setup. So the tree farm right here. So I have here an export where the, the uh, oak saplings are not permitted back in the system. They go back up here. So all the oak sapling goes here. We have the uh, watering can resonant. We have those. And we have here an exporter with boron spaxolo that always put one here. They're not auto crafted yet because I'm out of diamond. But what, I, what I'm doing is I come here and I look at boron and I have three. And I can go, give me 10 more. Start. Perfect. And then I can show these three back in. And I did that on both sides. So the wood is coming back out to here. It's going into that redstone furnace and it's being cooked. I didn't put a an external storage on this one and I don't think that I want to because I don't, there's no, there's nothing really that I need from the charcoal for now. So one thing that I might do is have a small chest here to d divert some of the uh, pulverized charcoal, but eh, for now I don't need it. Okay. And the last thing is I'm using the uh, Flux Phyto Pro. So right here I have a box with 139 plus 64 in here. And I just need to come and put some in here at some point. Once I have put a small room in automated the generation of, um, of rich slag, I'll be able to automate this part. For now, it's not a, an urgent thing and I'm going to leave it aside. Okay, so. Now that we're here, we need to do the calcium sulfate. Like this is really, oh, this is really the next step that we need to do. Now, the biggest problem with the calcium sulfate right now is the lack of oxygen. Because if you look here, eesh, this is empty of oxygen and this is empty also. So this system is kind of waiting on the next oxygen. So here it's going to generate the next oxygen and going to bring it up. So what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to get some, uh, give me some upgrades. So this and this, and let's say I want uh, 128 of those and 100 and, oh, I can't. Okay. I need to take a small break and go and show you the next step of automation. Right now, my machinery room is not really automated and I'm going to have to do it step by step as we arrive to what we need. Right now, we need, um, we need some, uh, we need to automate the, um, we need to automate talking. You know, talking is a big problem for me. That's what I need to automate. Anyway, so I'm gonna take a manufacturer that I'm gonna put right here and I'm going to stop doing power this way. Perfect, I'm going to reset these. Okay, so the first thing I wanna automate is the manufactory and this alloy furnace. So let's remove this, great. And let's put my crafter right on top here. I really need the crafter on this one, but I might as well do both at this point. Move this here, perfect. So you need to point them down like so. Haha, <laughs> and then we're going to bring the cable over. Oh, I'm out of cable. That's not a big deal. Cable. I still have some, but it's not automated. Can I craft some more? I'm gonna have to also automate that at some point. So let's bring that over like so. Perfect. So the manufactory, now I'm gonna go and make some recipe. So I'm going to come right here and we want obsidian. So obsidian. This is going to be processing and we need the pulverized obsidian and we want the one in the manufactory. Perfect, like so. And then we want the obsidian, we want the quartz in the manufactory also. Um, quartz, this one in the manufactory is going to give us the quartz dust. And the reason I'm, I'm using the manufactory uh, solution is pretty simple. Just give me a second, I'm gonna explain it to you. Uh, if I come here, now you should see manufactory. Yes, so I can go like this and like this. And I'm going to change these to the alloy furnace and not the strong box. Perfect. Uh, I'm also going to, while I'm here, make another recipe. Ferro boron, no, not ferro boron. Uh, magnesium dio dioxide uh, dio something. Dioboride alloy, perfect. So I want this recipe, two boron and one magnesium dust for three. 
And I'm going to put this one in, where is it? In here, in the alloy furnace also, perfect. And now we can go back here. So the reason I did that is that now I can come here and I can say upgrades and I can say I want 128 of those. Oh, <laughs> and I'm missing the obsidian. You know what? Time to bite the bullet and also connect the rest. So let's not get in the way of crater aid. Do I have some tunnels? Yeah, let's grab the tunnels, Ooh, like so. Let's move this here, this here, and this here, perfect. We are gonna put the tunnel right here. We need this one to connect with the cable and we're going to make a, put an external storage right here. Perfect, so technically now, uh, I'm going to grab one, I'm going to say whitelist, obsidian, and we're going to make this priority plus 10. I'm gonna put all of this in, and I'm going to come right here and do a little transfer job. Perfect. And since I'm here, I'm also going to clean up the ender pearl. Oh, and these ender pearl are also something that I want to attach to my system. So external storage here, and for now, only a, only a cable here. Just making sure I'm not getting in Crater's 8 away. And this is connected. So now, technically, if I come here, I'm going to have to do the same job with the Ender Pearl. So, whitelist, Ender Pearl, priority, plus 10. Perfect. Okay, so we should be good now. And if I come back... First derp of the day, I left the main room. Okay, so if I come back here and now I request for my upgrades, like so, I should be able to get 128, what? Ah, oh, it's that stupid bug. I need to disconnect and reconnect. Now if I, I left the room again. It's so funny how it always happened like multi 8.2, perfect, multiple time in a row. It's as if like I'm trying to be super careful and then once I screw it up, I screw it up for good. Anyway, so upgrade. I'm gonna say I want 128 of these. I made the recipe, of I, I should have checked more carefully. Okay, so let's go to, I need to grab the pattern first. Pattern, 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 nope, right here. I need to clear it, put it back in here, and we're going to go to obsidian again, obsidian. This is really something that I find dumb. Like the fact that it doesn't understand. Is that the normal obsidian? Yes, and let's just try Ordic. I never put the or dictionary on, maybe that's that would solve the problem. Let me come back here and put this here. And now, now I should be able to make my upgrades. Can I do this? Yes, perfect. So now coming back in the room, I could have used the pulverizer. Why did I not use the pulverizer? Because the manufacturer can go way higher like this, okay? So first off, we're going to need some signalum plated item duct. Signalum plated, nope, not fluid duct item duck and oh that's all the signalum i have left <sighs> that's sad okay i'm gonna have to make some more of that also uh, i'm gonna grab all of those because i'm going to do a little job like this yeah like so and i'm going to use this perfect and what i'm going to do do i have retrievers retrievers yep yeah. I'm going to upgrade one of these retriever with signalum just to make it as good as possible. Signalum right here and I put this in and disconnect. You know what? Disconnect this also. So technically now with this turned on, uh, no, this, let's put it down to eight so that it doesn't wait for anything. So what it's going to do exactly, it's going to start bringing back the obsidian in here and this is going to import it back into our system. And you know what? I might need a speed upgrade. Speed, oh, speed. Yeah, let's just, wow, let's put two. I got a lot of these, so it's not a big problem. And yeah, this is now emptying better-ish. So this is going super fast now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
create a stack up oh i already have one i'm just going to use a stack upgrade because this is perfect this is now fast enough and this i can also make faster it shouldn't be a problem but that's why i want to use a manufacturing and this one let's just see magnesium magnesium dioboride uh let's craft 128 of those start it perfect don't want to throw it back in the system right now because if i throw it back in the system it's going to screw things up but as you can see it's coming up here and i can also make this faster Whew. okay so back to our calcium sulfate that, that's really the situation we're in it's back and forth back and forth back and forth because we need to resolve one problem at a time so now I can grab all of these upgrades and all of these upgrade and I can make these faster. So let's just go, I can go 24. So let's do 24. So that's up to 32. And I can put another 24 in here. Oh, and I can put another 24 in here. Perfect. So this should start working way faster and hopefully it's going to be making more. I want to take this out in a different room, but that's going to be for another episode or in a time lapse. In a time lapse, I'm going to make a seven by seven by seven room and I'm going to put like four or five electrolyzer. They're still not running out of power. Great. So we can concentrate <clears throat> on the next room. So perfect. Um, I need a compact room and now we're going to do the, uh, the sulfate something. Let's take a big room I don't want to be stuck again so for this one we're going to put it here for now we're going to have to bring hardened fluidoc hardened fluidoc nope I'm out of that also it's it's right now at this point I feel like we've been comfortable for a long while now and now we're back to the step where we're kind of missing a little bit of everything so I'm going to bring the Arden fluid up like this, and now we're ready, ready to go inside and start connecting things. Okay, so I'm gonna go in this corner, go out, and I'm just going to hit it again. Yes, that's per the perfect entry. So first off, we need a tunnel for power. So let's bring power right here. And you know what? I'm gonna bring power, I'm gonna put power in the back and at a higher level. So that's the Harden fluid dock. Nope. Oh, okay. Let's can hardened fluid uh, flux duct. Perfect. And let's grab some hardened flux duct, and we're going to go like this. I don't know if I'm going to need both sides, but let's start like this. So first, let's go see the calcium sulfate. Calcium. Nope. Not here. Right here. How do we get calcium sulfate? By crystallizing a calcium sulfate solution. How do we get calcium sulfate solution? Uh, wait, how do I? Okay, so calcium sulfate solution in a crystallizer. Calcium sulfate solution is made in a chemical reactor. So we need one chemical reactor to make the calcium sulfate solution. But to do this, we're going to need fluorite water and sulfuric acid so that's one chemical reactor let's do this side first fluorite water is crushed fluorite in great I, I just want to check something rock crusher I'm not sure which one it is and the rock crusher I have a big problem with them showing up in the here perfect so I can get crushed calcium uh, no nope, crush Crushed fluorite. So I'm going to need to crush diorite and crush granite. Oh, and the, the granite is also what gives me sulfur. So yeah, that's really good. Okay, so we're going to need some chemical reactor. Let's just check what I have right now. What do I have chemical reactor wise? I only have one. And we already know that we need a couple calcium sulfate. So let's do crystallizer. Crystallizer, one chemical reactor. A fluid enricher so we have the chemical reactor let's search for the uh, crystallizer oh crystallizer and I should always check here first do I have a crystallizer oh yes so crystallizer right here uh, I also need so the crystallizer was for the fluorite water so I need a fluid enricher 
enricher. Do I have one already? Let's click right here, fluid enricher. Yes, perfect. Uh, so, okay, so that's one side taken care of. Now let's go back to the calcium sulfate. So we took care of this. We took care of the, the fluid enriching, I uh, know the chemical reaction, the fluid enriching right here. So if I come back here, I need the sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid is one chemical reactor with water and sulfur trioxide, with sulfur trioxide. So one chemical reactor, a second chemical reactor, and I get this from oxygen and sulfur dioxide. Uh, oxygen, we already know how to get. Sulfur dioxide is made with oxygen again and molten sulfur. So three chemical reactor and a melter. Great, so let's check if we have that. Melter, yes, we do have a melter. So that's for the sulfur. And now we need the other parts. What are the other parts? We need the, hmm, huh. we need, oh, the chemical reactor. So I need three chemical reactor. Let's go back out here and out here. And I just wanna try something dumb, but I, oh uh, no, I'm not. I was going to say, let's automate the chemical reactor, but I don't, I don't need enough to do that. And it's going to waste time. So chemical reactor, I'm going to need three electric motor. So three, let's make the three electric motor. One, two, three. And you know what? Let's make the plating. We're going to need um, 12. Perfect. Then we're going to need the servo mechanism. One, two, three. We're going to then need the machine chassis. One, two, three. And we should now be good to make all of these. Perfect. So now we have, oh, we're going to need an infinite water source. I don't have any anymore, but that shouldn't be a problem. I'm just going to need some plating. So let's come here and say plate. Can you please click in the right place? Oh my gosh. Plating. I'm going to need, let's just make 64. Great. Perfect. And now I'm going to need my water source. Where are my water source? Uh, water, water, water. I have this one and oh, okay. So I'm, I'm, I need to go and grab some water. So just give me a moment. Where did I put the water now? Um, it's not here, not here. In cubic. Yes, I have a water source in cubic. How much is this? Four buckets. So that's four. I need more. I need eight buckets. So that's five. Arr. And this is still not going up. So it's definitely not enough. You know what I, I'm going to have to do to get this process started? I'm going to stop the Blizz powder for a little while. Uh, can I grab some more? Yeah, how much I'm at now? That's 5.8, that's not enough. You know what? How can I, do I have another water source somewhere? I'm just trying to remember in, yes, but that's a very small one. Oh no, it's a, ooh. So that's 20 bucket and that's how many? 35 buckets, yes, perfect, I'm good. So the reason I'm doing this is I want to make some infinite water source, infinite, and I wanna make a second tier one. So let's go like this, put this here, put this here. I'm gonna make two second tier. Don't know why, but I'm just going to make two. Perfect, because they're a bit painful to make and I don't wanna to have to do this again. One and a two. And for now, you know what? Let me grab my water. I'm gonna put one right here and I'm going to put my water cache, this one just on top so that it starts filling and I'm so fed up of not having water around that I'll go boom and boom. Perfect, so that should be 180 bucket of water. So let's go back to the calcium sulfate and let's go into our room. Perfect, so now that we're here, we said that we needed a crystallizer. So let's say that the crystallizer is the last step, but it needs, I'm going to put the crystallizer up. So Harden flux duct, like so. And the crystallizer is, nope, that's an isotope separator. So we need a crystallizer right here. So the crystallizer is where we're going to cr make the final crystallization process. Then on one side, we're going to need to make some um, fluorite water. So I need a fluid, oh no, I need a chemical reactor. So here's a chemical reactor right here. Ooh, I don't like this. 
chemical reactor right here. Let's remove all of this, let's break this. So that's the chemical reactor that's going to make the fluoride water, uh, which is going to grab the two resource. We're going to need a chemical reactor right here. And again, I need some flux ducts, flux, hardened flux. I'm gonna go with the hardened flux duct for now. I can always replace these later if I need to. So we need a second chemical reactor and we need a, do I need a third one? Chemical reactor, chemical reactor, chemical reactor. So no, I need a fluid enricher right here. So that's the fluid enricher. And I'm going to make myself a little step ladder. And I'm going to need a hardened fluid arc, like so. And here's the fluid enricher and the fluid enricher is gonna need water and calcium, uh, no, and the fluorite. Oh, I only have one. It's, it's, if it's not one thing, it's another. It's really crazy. So I'm gonna change this to diorite, grab all of these and grab all of these and throw all of these in my system. Man, this is, like I've been saying, this is going to be one issue after another until that's automated. Perfect, so let's go back here. So I'm going to put the crushed floor right, right here and we're going to need water. So I'm gonna put the water source right here. So that's going to make the fluorite water. And now I'm going to need a, oh, I'm not gonna need this level of servo. I can make do with the smaller servos because these are not going to be amazingly fast. So no servos in here. Let's make just a basic type of servo like this. And am I out of iron? Oh no, iron nugget, perfect, doesn't matter. We're gonna look into that later. Perfect, so this should give me fluoride water, perfect. So now we need to go the other way around and I'm going to need another chemical reactor right here and two more hardened flux duct, like so. And here we need the melter, perfect. So in the melter, we need sulfur, so let uh, let's exit the room. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Nope. So I need some sulfur right here. Let's put 64 sulfur in here. Then we're going to need a hardened flux duct right here. And an export. Perfect. Okay, so that's going to give me sulfur. And can I make this a bit faster? Where are my upgrades again? upgrades like so oh two three four five six seven eight and that's going to be eight and eight perfect now we're going to get into this machine we now have molten sulfur so molten sulfur needs to be put with oxygen perfect we're going to need oxygen in these two so that's where we're going to put the um hardened fluid duct and tunnel for this we're going to go like this, hardened fluid duct. Oh, like this, and you know what? I don't need this part right here. So now we're, and what I'm going to, um, I don't know if that's going to work. I'm going to, to put a reinforced servo like this, and I'm going to say, no, I can't, not this one. So let's remove this. And what I'm hoping is that if I put the higher tier one, that I'm going to be able to round robin to get some in both. Okay, so no, the Signalum Servo, oh, on liquid, you can't do that. Derp, completely forgot. So let's go back on the other side. And now what I'm going to do to be able to prime start the system, I'm just going to split this off right here for the beginning. And this should be connected now. And I'm just waiting to get my first oxygen. Should be getting some soon. Why is this one not working? Because this one is not to void excess. Perfect, oh my, that's why we've been having such a rough time. Anyway, let's go back in our room. We should now be back and working. So now the melter is melting, getting us some sulfur, getting some oxygen gas, and oh boy, I don't like this. 
Uh, let's hope that we're doing it at the right time because right now I need to make sure that these are not connecting. Uh, you know what? This is really dumb, but this way I'm sure that they're not connecting. I'm gonna go like this and I'm going to put a an extract right here. Turned on and this should be grabbing the result and coming in here. Perfect, we have sulfur dioxide. So again, we're going to upgrade these with eight, seven, eight, and eight. And we're going to come and do the same thing here. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight. Perfect. And now we can put the next level right here, like so. And extract. And we have sulfur trioxide. And what's the sulfur trioxide needed to be with i think it was water i just need to make sure sulfur trioxide and water is going to give us sulfuric acid so i need to bring water that should not be a problem although i do not want water in this okay so we're going to go like this and we're going to disconnect great like this and like this that should bring water here ha ah, amazing one two three four five six seven eight nope eight not counting with etc and this should give us the next level which ah uh, now it's going to be a problem hmm okay we're going to remove this so that it doesn't get filled with water anymore and That was really dumb. I hope I didn't screw up the machine. Now let's go see if I screwed up the... That was even dumber. Let's go back in and let's see if we screwed up this machine. Is there water in this machine? Yes, shift to clear. Fluorite water, perfect. So let's do this and this, perfect. So we're first going to go like this and you know what, screw this. I'm just tired of this weird fluidic mechanic so we need to connect all of these and this and we need to disconnect this and then we need to connect this and disconnect this perfect so now this goes in here with an extract that's the fluorite water this goes i have to extract this turn it on this is going to be the sulfuric acid. So I have fluorite water and sulfuric acid. And now I can put my water back here and turn this off. Did I turn it off on time? Ugh! I deleted uh, fluoride water. The derps are strong today. The derps are strong. So let's just do that back here. And hopefully we're going to get some more Fluorite, yeah, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give you know what? Uh, where are these? 16 and 16. Boom, gimme fluorite. Great, now let's go back in here and now this whole system should be working. So if I come back in here, fluorite water. So this is need to get made faster, like this. Perfect, so fluorite water coming into here. This also needs to be made faster, like so. Let's look at the upgrades because we we are going to need a lot more of these. So let's craft another 128, start it, and let's craft another 128. Let's get started, perfect. Okay, so let's look at this. Melting sulfur that comes in here with oxygen gas, and then it goes in here. So it makes sulfur dioxide. This makes sulfur trioxide. This makes sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid comes in here. It makes hydrofluoric acid. And now, is that right? Oh, and calcium sulfate. Oh, so now we have to be careful. We need, we don't care about the hydrofluoric acid. So we're going to come here and we're going to say, don't output this anywhere and void the excess. And we're going to say, extract this one from the top and don't void especially that one do not void so we can go like this turn it on 
So now we have calcium sulfate solution that goes in here. Hello? Output top. Why are you, what? Oh, wait a sec, wait a second. Input from the bottom. Oh, it's an item duck. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? And why is this not extracting? Harden fluid duck, like so, and extract, like so. And this should get us our first calcium sulfate. And we're going to go eight and eight. And that should be our first calcium sulfate. And what I'm going to do, it, I don't, ah. Uh, don't want to make it an importer. Hmm. I, I have a dilemma right now. I'm trying to, like, what should I do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm, oh, I'm going to go like this. I don't know if I got it. It doesn't matter. Uh, let me get a strong box that I'm going to put a cable behind. Um, I'm not going to put a cable behind. I'm going to put a external storage right here and then I'm going to put a strong box and then I'm going to turn this to the right side perfect and this one I'm going to go cobblestone like this I want to make sure that I never make more than two stack of calcium sulfate okay that's really important because I don't need that much and I don't want to burn through all my resources because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this cable and I'm going to go, oh boy, I'm going to go like so. And like so, perfect. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, just to bring the sulfur in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to automate the exportation of sulfur. So I'm gonna use my exporters one right here and I'm going to say sulfur and that should start bringing sulfur in oh no because I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna need a tunnel first <laughs> uh, and then right here I'm going to export in this one the fluorite uh, not external storage exporter and I don't have fluorite so I'll just come out and grab some more from here perfect let's go back in here I'm going to need to say here export fluorite like so control of that in the system like so and now I just need to tunnel all of this so that it starts working and put the tunnel right here doesn't really matter oh okay so I still need to bring a cable to here cable right here so you know what there are other things I need to cable up so I'm going to go across like so. Oh, come on. Perfect. And the reason I did this is I also want to put an external storage right here. External storage. And I'm going to grab one of these and I'm going to say whitelist, bliss powder, priority 10 set. Perfect. So now my system should know about bliss powder. Yes. And this is go. Oh, tell me it connected. Oh, this is beautiful. So I now have sulfur in here. I now have fluorite in here. And I have not yet, but pretty soon I'm going to have calcium sulfate in here. I just need another servo. Darn these servos. Perfect. Let's just make two stacks and let's make a couple more of these and let's set this to export and let's put some where's it did I put a fluid duct no I did put an item duct great and I want this to output from the top and voila we finally have our calcium sulfate and if I look in here is yes well that was something let me grab a calcium sulfate. Let me go back here. 
whitelist, calcium sulfate, priority 10. And let's put that back in here. Voila. So calcium sulfate is fully, completely, well, no, it's not fully, completely, totally automated because I'm still missing that step. So what I'm going to do in my time lapse, I'm going to resolve this. I'm going to start importing these resource uh, as fast as possible. Like I, I, I really not need to start making some and I'm going to use caches and I'm going to connect a cache to the crushed floor, uh, an external storage to crush fluoride. I don't care about these. These can maybe, you know what? Th these are so little. Maybe I'm going to, what do I do with this? Just give me a second. Is there anything? So this gives us in a manufacturing This is, there are recipes not showing up. I just want to do sodium fluoride. No, that's not calcium. That's sodium. Okay. Just want to check quickly because manufacturers are magical. They really produce a lot of different resource. No, no. Just want to make sure that there wasn't maybe a magic recipe in here that I was missing. No, perfect. So I just, what do you do with sodium fluoride? You make sodium fluoride solution, and what do you do with... Oh, nothing good. Okay, don't care. I thought this was maybe like a magical solution that I was not aware of, but it's not. Let's just get rid of all of this, and we're at a step now. I think that we're going to go into our time lapse. This has been a long episode, but we did automate the calcium sulfate, which is what we needed to do. And in my time lapse, so in my time lapse, I'm really going to resolve the igneous extruder and rock crusher solution. I'm going to set up three igneous extruder, one for uh, diorite, one for um, granite, and one for diorite, granite, and I don't remember the third one, and the site. I'm going to put those in catch, and then I'm going to have them input into a rock crusher, and then I'm going to have the rock crusher go into a solution of caches. And I'm going to just put some, uh, I'm going to put some uh, cables and st external storage only on the one that matters. Because if I come back to Rock Crusher, Rotocron side is going to matter. Forite does matter. This is the only one that I'm not sure that I care at all about. But I don't know yet that maybe we're going to need it at some other point. So I prefer being careful and just planning that we're going to need it. I'm also going to try and make an electrolyzer room setup where I'm going to pump a crazy amount of power. I just, while we're here, let's just do a quick look up. Oh, whoa, we're, okay. So in my time lapse, I'm going to fix the LEU room. That's going to be my first priority because I'm about to have a power problem. If I come back here, how is this going here? Oh, and this is not using any of the power. Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm going to have to check this. I'm afraid that I might not be using the power. Hmm. Cryo down. Okay, so this is connected. Hopefully now this is giving power to everything else. I really need to not run out of power. So I just said, first step, LEU-235 really got to fix this. Second step is going to be uh, the... Uh, electrolyzer room because I really need the oxygen and the third step is going to be the um, the igneous extruder like the three type of resource room so I need to set up three room in my time lapse and then in the next episode we're going to finish the automation for the electromagnet so that we know the cost of making the 56 electromagnet and maybe we're going to make the tritium lamp at the same time so that we can restart the uh, glowstone production we stopped the glowstone production because of the lithium, uh, because we needed to keep some neutronium to make the eight tritium lamp. But we're on our way to the high impact compactor. I think we should be able to do it in two or three episodes from now. And uh, next episode is going to be those two step. And the episode after that are going to be the animals because we're going to need slime balls. And then the episode after that should be the I Impact Compactor if all is peachy and going well. So guys, that's my plan for the next two or three episodes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.
Yeah.